These aren't grow lights. They're actually just industrial shop lights from Amazon and they cost eight bucks each. So that's 24 bucks to light this entire four foot space. And they come with power switches and you can link them together. I promise this isn't sponsored. I just really like these lights and they're very efficient, but they're also not marketed to you as grow lights. So they're cheaper and they come in three different colors, 4,000, 5,000 and 6,500 Kelvin. The higher that Kelvin number, the cooler the bulb is like this blue. I light all of my tissue culture with these lights and small plants that are just starting. Since these aren't marketed as grow lights, you're gonna pay lower cost per light. As I said, these are about eight bucks each. These are old grow lights. They're a few years old now, and some of them are even beginning to die back. These are my latest ones from Spider Farmer. Again, not sponsored. I just really like these lights and they are dimmable. Very, very bright as you can see on this canopy. And I keep them just a few inches away from the Monsteras. Then they also integrate these red LEDs, typically for cannabis growers, to make their plants express more terpenes, scents, but we don't need that in house plants. They also make a half version of the Spider Farmer. And this one's about a hundred bucks. I'm using it to light this tray of Monstera. So you can definitely buy legit grow lights, but just know what you're buying. If you get the right combination of coloring from shop lights and you get efficient ones that convert that energy into light well, you can save the money instead of buying these and just buy shop lights that come in multiple different colors. Typically blue is for rooting, the higher number in Kelvin, and the more red or pink light helps growth. Remember, we're just trying to emulate a burning ball of fire in the sky. The light doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be a wavelength that the plants can absorb. And that's typically whites, reds, and blues. I bet if you tried, you could grow plants with a campfire if it were large enough. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a great rest of your day.